Today marks 59 years since students at Tougaloo College staged a sit-in in a Woolworth in Jackson, Mississippi. In tonight's Weekend Journal, CBS's Elise Preston shows us how an unlikely civil rights activist from that day is still fighting. Here's the Jackson sit-in. Old newspaper clippings fill 80-year-old Joan Trump Hour Mulholland's Virginia home. The headlines brought America's battle for racial equality to the world and kept those fighting for it safe. If you were going into a town, from the clippings you could find out who you needed to contact. Now they tell the story of this grandmother who participated in nearly 50 demonstrations during the civil rights movement and was arrested about a half dozen times while she was a white student at a historically black college, Tougaloo in Mississippi. I got called a few names. What were those names? Oh, we can't say that on the air. Her son Loki says during her time in the civil rights movement, as a white Southerner, Mahalan was called a race traitor who agitated good society. And not just white, a white woman. A white woman. Why is that so important? Um, because, well, one, she represents everything that supposedly Jim Crow was all about, protecting the white women from the black beast rapist, right? That whole narrative. On May 28th, 1963, a hostile mob greeted Mahalan and other activists hoping to integrate a lunch counter in Jackson, Mississippi. These photos captured the sit-in. The most violence bestowed, but the most integrated. Memphis Norman was being pulled off his stool and kicked severely, and the girls were pulled down. Sugar, salt, and ketchup stained Mahalan's face and body, while her friend's head dripped with blood from taking hits. Coming out of that day, I realized, you know, I didn't waste any energy on fear. Fear will paralyze your brain and keep you from knowing what you need to do to stay as safe as possible. When you talk about your experiences of getting into the movement and getting wanting to get involved, it's so almost nonchalant, like, this is what it is, this is right, and that's wrong. Yeah. It just seems... A Christian thing to do. She is still doing the work. The Joan Trump Hour Mahalan Foundation provides diversity training and HBCU scholarships. They also produce documentaries and school curriculum. They see my mom and they go, well, I can do this too. Mahalan says there is a lot more to do. Because we don't have an equitable society and the way we discriminate or separate people today may be different but it's still not treating people like we want to be treated. Elise Preston, CBS News, Arlington, Virginia.